To ensure that the Gram Pro 1 functions as intended, preventative maintenance procedures must be implemented as part of your lab schedule. Some procedures may depend on a time-based schedule or on how many slides are processed each day. For complete details on these procedures, please refer to the maintenance summary listed under the Gram Pro 1's user manual, which can be found online at hardydiagnostics.com slash grampro. Regardless of how many slides your lab processes each day, Replace the deionized water and supplement it with 10 drops of Gram's iodine disinfectant per gallon of water. The wash cycle uses the pre-installed bottles of decolorizer to fill and rinse out the connecting manifold and body of the cuvette. This cycle is to be run every 20 slides or every 8 days, whichever occurs first. The Gram Pro 1 will automatically prompt the user to run a wash cycle after a consecutive 20 slides have been performed. Before performing a wash cycle on the Gram Pro 1, please be sure to manually swab the cuvette using a foam-tipped cuvette swab soaked in methanol. Perform this step while the unit is not running any other function, as inserting a swab into the Gram Pro 1 while it is running may result in an overflow. Swabbing the cuvette will help loosen any buildup or debris on the walls of the cuvette, allowing for a more thorough clean. To run a wash cycle from the main menu, Press 1 to select Run. Press 2 to select Clean Cuvette. Press 1 to select Wash Cuvette. Press 1 to begin the wash cycle. Please note that no movement of the reagent lines is necessary to perform the wash cycle. During the wash cycle, the unit will oscillate the colorizer through the manifold of the cuvette. After the wash cycle has completed its final rinse, the Gram Pro 1 will now be ready to run slides. The scrub cleaning feature for the Gram Pro 1 is required every 600 slides or every 15 days, whichever occurs first. For software version 2.1.0, the unit will automatically prompt the user to run at the 15 day mark. The scrub will take approximately 5 minutes to complete. To begin the scrub cycle from the main menu, press 1 to select Run. Press 2 to select Clean Cuvette. Press 2 to select Scrub Stain Lines. Press 1 to purge the unit of all fluids. Once the unit has been purged of all reagents, it will instruct you to move the crystal violet, Gram's iodine, and safranin lines into a bottle of system cleaner. Remove the reagent lines from the stain containers and wipe off the residual reagents from the ends of the cannulas. Place all reagent cannulas into one bottle of system cleaner. Before beginning the scrub cycle, use a foam cuvette swab soaked in system cleaner to manually clean out the inside of the cuvette. Now that the cuvette has been manually cleaned, you may press 1 to begin the scrub cycle. This process will take approximately 5 minutes to complete. The reagent lines will now have system cleaners cycle through the lines and the cuvette. Once the scrub has been completed, you may wipe off the cannulas and place them back in their respective reagent bottles. Press 1 when prompted to press any key to continue. The unit will then prime the stain lines with the proper reagent. Once the prime is complete, the unit will return to the run menu. You may begin staining slides or press star to exit back to the main menu. The bleach procedure for the Gram Pro 1 should be performed every 30 days or 600 slides, whichever occurs first. Before you begin the process, you will need to prepare approximately a 200 ml solution of 10% bleach and deionized water. This solution will be used to dispense through the reagent and water lines, to clean the internal surface of the tubing, and to prevent debris buildup in the waste line. To begin from the main menu, press 1 to select Run. Press 4 to select Purge. After the unit has been purged, move the crystal violet, Gram's iodine, safranin, and deionized water lines by wiping off the ends of the cannulas and placing them in the 10% bleach solution. Press 3 to select Prime. Press 1 to select Gram Stain. Press 2 to select Gram Stain Long. For the bleach cleaning procedure, a slide does not need to be present in the cuvette. Press 1 to begin the Gram Stain process. 
After the gram stain cycle has completed, press any key to continue. Press forward to purge the bleach solution from the system. Wipe off and place all the cannulas back into their respective bottles. Press 3 to select Prime Pumps. The unit will prime all the reagent fluids into their respective lines. Once the prime has completed, the unit will return to the run menu. The Gram Pro 1 is now ready to run slides. All 8 pump tubes must be replaced every 6 months or every 1100 slides to ensure optimal functionality of the Gram Pro 1. To begin from the main menu, press 1 to select Run. Press 4 to select Purge. This option may be selected twice to ensure all lines are completely empty of the reagents. Remove the front pump cover by unscrewing the four thumb screws on the face of the Gram Pro 1. If your unit was purchased after September 16, 2019, it will have a four pin Molex connection attaching three case fans on the cover. Pivot the pump cover along the left side of the machine. Carefully disconnect the Molex connection and lay down the pump cover. Once the pump cover has been removed, replace each pump tube one at a time to ensure correct placement of the clear cubed elbow connectors. Remove the white nylon elbows from the orange pump tube. Remove the pump tube from the bracket and the pump roller, then discard. Insert the two nylon elbows into the new pump tube. Place the new pump tube into the bracket and onto the roller. Connect the Molex connector if necessary. You may now replace the front pump cover. When all the tubes have been replaced, you will now need to register the tube kit on your Gram Pro 1. From the main menu, press 2 to select Setup. Press 2 to select Consumables. Press 2 to select Review Tubing. Press 1 to select Change Kit. Enter the kit's 9-digit serial number that can be found on the replacement tubing kit bag. The information will be called kit code number on the bag. Press pound to move the cursor to the batch number. Once the batch number has been entered, press pound to accept. Press star to select exit. Press one to select update tubing log. Doing so will show the following screen that states tubing log update confirmed. Exit back to the main menu by pressing star Press 1 to select Run. Press 3 to select Prime Pumps. Once the unit lines have been primed, the Gram Pro 1 is now ready to run slides.